Welcome back to the Possibility Swarm. I'm your hostess Lane, and this time around I'm joined by two members of the channel One Mana Short, along with staple fill in Taco. I challenged Taco, Philip, and Tommy to build new commanders from Dom Dominaria United to a CDH level so we can see some new spice coming to a table near you. Each of these decks have some promising new angles to approach the CDH meta with, but still bring familiar strategies to the game. Enjoy the show. If you like what I do and want to support the channel, there are a few ways to do so. Shirts are up on Bonfire, playmats are available through Ink Gaming. I have affiliate links through TCG Player and Alter Sleeves. Direct support in various tiers is handled over on Patreon, and we stream every Saturday on Twitch from 1 to 4 p.m. PST. And of course, liking, subscribing, and commenting on my videos here is an easy way to help out. Links to everything will be in the description below. Now with that said, let's check out the lists. Coming first is Taco on his Grolza list, which is helmed by Maria. She essentially is the same sort of stacks workaround and mana sync that Urza is, but in arguably worse colors. Still, something is to be said about having access to two colors over just one. We'll see if that makes the difference. The deck aims to throw out brutal stacks pieces that Maria can break parity on by tapping them for mana, showing off their effects for her but no one else. From there, Kikijiki lines and other combos can be assembled to win the game. Next up is Tommy on the new version of Jota. I think the card is arguably worse than the original Jota, however, Cascade is still a powerful effect, and if you can manage to cast a large enough legendary creature, you can roll into other ones that are just as devastating. Some hate bears and stacks pieces help to keep them in the game, but otherwise the deck doesn't really have much of a game plan outside of trying to get beefy creatures on, out to steamroll with. But sometimes in CDH, that's enough. Coming third is Philip on his Elast deck, which is an interesting take on Warsaw. Packs and hate bears and the like to slow down opponents, but then relies heavily on the newer card Abdel, along with animate dead effects in order to do pseudo World Gorger Dragon loops. But with his commander out, he gains life on Abdel's ETB, and the table is drained on LTB, meaning the outlet is right there in the command zone, and it will end the game on the spot without interaction. I'm bringing up the rear this time, and I've built Ramses, the Assassin Lord. This deck has a number of ways to win, including Thoracle, but also focuses on the commander's ability to make you win the game. If we can suit up Ramses or cast a Timely Hatred or otherwise get to 21 commander damage on one player, the rest of the table dies too. We can utilize a couple of creatures with hit counter synergy as well as Atrata to make this happen even faster if the circumstances are right. So it's basically a Voltron, Voltron style list that has one of the better combos in the format to win with otherwise. We'll see if that's enough. So there you have it. Let's see who takes the dub this time. I do have a pregame. Good thing I'm going fourth. Otherwise I would have mulliganed this hand away. That is a gemstone. I would like to get rid of this image. Sounds good. All right, good luck out on everyone. Draw a card. Play a wooded foothills. Sacrifice that for a taiga. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't know why it took me so long, but I just got that like the other day. Somebody said it and I was like, oh, it's a taiga. That's a fucking taiga. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and you just, you just, oh uh, man. We speak the same language, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Chrome Mox, exiling a bop. Let's go with a Felwarstone into the Ragged Man. I will pass turn. I will also play a Tiger of Rars. I will first cast a Chrome Mox. Okay. He's copying me. I am, I'm gonna pitch a Dothy though, and I'm gonna oh. cast a burn, as opposed to... When you asked him to change it a little bit so they wouldn't know, he did the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah play pitch and Dothy, I will cast a Birds of Paradise, and then I'll pass. Alright. I will draw for turn. I'd like to play an Esper Sentinel. Yeah, I'm gonna play a Jeweled Lotus, and I'll pass. Alright, move my turn, draw a card, play a P Vista, which I'll crack. Using a life, and I will go get a uh, swamp, I suppose. Move that to the battlefield, shuffle away. Uh, and then we'll tap two for this here Talisman of Dominance. That's hard. I will. Good I'll draw. All right. I'll pass. Uh, let's head to combat and swing at Islam, because he is open. Take two. Real Scalding Tarn. Just cheat. Let's play. Just there cheat. We we'll play a mana vault, and I will pass the turn. A tap. Sure. Let's tap for green, for blue, for co black. I'm gonna attempt to cast an Oko, Thief of Crowns. <laughs> I'm gonna up. I'm gonna uptake Oko. I'm gonna turn that Myria into an elk. Dang. Good thing this elk. This elk gonna be beating Oko. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass. Move to my turn. I'll play a City of Brass. I'll cast my. Commander, and I will pass the turn. 
All right, uh, untapping and drawing, and um, yeah, I wish I had that scalding turn, but oh, this will do. Geez. We're stick study. Hey, I draw. Uh, you can draw. I will pass. I will draw. Um, I'll head to combat. Yep. We're gonna swing three at Oko and two at Tommy. Oh, no blocks. I'll, o Oko will take three. Ragaman will trigger. You have a Sinead, Sleeper Scourge. Uh, what in the hell does that do? <laughs> uh, it's two, four, two, four Menace for one in Mardu. <laughs> other, for other legendary creatures you control have Menace. Whenever a legendary oh, land one. you okay. use, or whenever you cast a legendary spell, you draw a card this way. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to cast that one, to be honest. Let's go with a Imperial Recruiter. Let's go for a Dockside. Did you pay Veristic for Imperial Recruiter? I did not. I will draw. I will pass the turn. Okay, untap, draw. That's not a land. I'm gonna just uptick Oko. I'm gonna elk the. I'm gonna elk, elk a lot of silk lore. Okay. And I'll pass. Thraxian Tower. Oh, yeah. Combat. Yep. Tommy, I'm gonna swing both of these at Oko. Oko will die. Post combat. That's <laughs> I'm gonna play Dothy Voidwalker with my Thraxian Tower. And I'm gonna use Jewel Notice. Uh, I did this out of order. I'll cast my commander. I'm not paying for Rhystic Study for this one. I'll draw. And I will pass the turn. I didn't get a land in any of those draws. I think we just pass. Uh, let's have a straight to combat. Let's go Ragavan at Islane and Elk Maria at Tommy. Take three, commander. Oh, another lands? That's not an opposition agent. Oh, I hate that shit. That's real tempting. Play a dog side. I don't have Same. Are you gonna pay for the rustic study? Uh, I will not. Tooth and nail and twan. Rustic two... on. Yeah. Oh Tooth yeah. And nail. Can I draw yeah. off of Esper Sentinel Taco? Uh, yes you can. All right, sweet. All right, now we'll all be very annoyingly Italian and say, forget about it. I'm gonna cast enough for you can't refuse targeting Tooth and nail. It's fine. I figured someone had. And I'm gonna pay for. I'm gonna pay for both. I'll pay for both. Okay. Tooth and nail and offer oh. are exiled under oh, Dothy. Right. Oh, well, that's concerning. Had to go for it. Pass. What's up? Land! We got there. Cast Jetmere. <laughs> you can draw his lane. Okay. Doesn't look too great right now, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I ain't got shit. So I'm gonna pass my turn if Jetmere resolves. Draw. Uh, I'll play Urborg. I'm gonna play Timna. I'm gonna pay for heuristic study. I'm gonna go to combat. Islane, I'm just gonna attack you with Esper, Sentinel, and Alice for three damage. Got it. Uh, post combat, I will lose a life and draw a card. I will move to the end step and I will discard something. I'm gonna discard Abdel. Ooh, that's oh, a pretty God. good discard. <laughs> I will pass the turn. Jewel Lotus. That's a good point. Nice! <laughs> Not paying. You can have your one draw. Oh, sweet. I'll draw. Uh, Chrome Box. Gonna I'm gonna pitch this. I guess I'll, we'll do Dothian Grace. Um, I'll crack the Lotus for blue. Uh, add another cast my commander. Nice. Bramsis. Blue and black. Uh, for winged boots. Nice. Yeah, flying. I'm not, flying in ward four, right? Correct. I would like to Jeez. equip. Okay. That is a big ward. Uh, he doesn't have haste or anything, so I am at seven in hand again. I will pass. Take a damage from Manival and draw. I will head to combat. We'll swing Mary Elk at Isling and Ragavan at Philip. You 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 want her to oh. die? I see. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. But I'm gonna keep keep smacking you. Yeah, I don't want I'm gonna her to declare die. no blocks. No blocks. I get a treasure, and what is your top card? Bloodstained Mire. Why does it just keep being lands, man? <laughs> I don't know, build a better deck. Oh, well, <laughs> in, in response to that, I'll tap one and play a Meek Stone. I mean, I only gotta get through once. I'll pay for Rhystic. Boo. So I can draw? Yeah. Jamble? Uh, three, three cards in my hand when I do it. This card. All right, who'd like to do the honors? Three cards. What we're gonna do is one, two is the first card, two, three. One, two th is the first card, three, four is the second, five, six is the last. Let's roll. 
We got a five. Last card. Well, uh, shucks. Hmm. That I wonder is... if that's the card he went for. <laughs> <laughs> Hold pass. Tap draw. I'm gonna go give this a whack. It's okay. I'm just gonna think for a sec. I'm gonna go grab a underground sea, I think. I'll tap underground sea. I'll go for black, blue, green, red, white. I'm gonna cast Jota. I can't pay for Rhystic. Alright, if Jota's good, I'm gonna go to combat. So my creatures have vigilance, by the way, since I have, uh, since I have combined creatures with, uh, Cypher creatures. Um, Philip, I'm gonna attack you for eight with Jetmir. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, pass. I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick. I'm F6. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, I'll move to my turn. I'll play Silent Clearing as my land for turn. No. I'm gonna tap and sacrifice Dothy Voidwalker. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna choose Eldritch Evolution. Interesting. Uh, sacrificing the Esper Sentinel. Uh, Rhystic? Uh, you can draw your card. Okay. You guys lose another life from me sacrificing the Esper. Okay. I'm gonna find this Grand Abolisher. Ooh. I'm gonna cast Necromancy. Targeting Abdel. I figured we would be dead when I came back. <laughs> be yeah. yeah. I couldn't. I have a response to the Grand Abolisher, but I can't cast anything now. Alright. Again? Yeah, right. good yeah. stuff. Nice. Yeah, it's well, for stream, for stream purposes, uh, let us know what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to return this Abdel from my graveyard to the battlefield using Necromancy. So now, whenever Abdel enters, um, I'm going to exile Necromancy. Yeah, it's when World War of Dragon essentially there. Yeah, and then I use my commander as a life loss outlet against you guys. So this process goes on indefinitely until you guys die, lose enough life. Damn. Damn. Oh. 